Good evening, everybody. I would like to welcome, obviously, our, our guest. I feel so privileged, you know, to be surrounded by uh, two stars, international stars, and I would like to thank them to, to be here and, and, and address you. We have entitled this uh, event uh, Construction Européenne uh, because I felt that uh, both uh, Luc Thomas and Rem Koulas could bring in their own perspective <coughs> on the European project. Europe is an incredibly admirable uh, ambition that was started in a very intelligent way, but it is now like a Greek shop. You know all these kind of Greek buildings where they built, because they have the money, they built the first part, but uh, there are the reinforcement uh, bars that are sticking out uh, and that are waiting for a better time to be kind of finished and constructed. And I think that uh, Europe is really uh, essentially a completely unfinished uh, machinery and that therefore um, the current uh, European governance is completely handicapped by this lack of completeness. A lot of politicians do not have an interest in culture, that's a fact. Because there are other preoccupations uh, which I can understand and uh, which are more within the technocratic field. But I think that if you want to create and build and change a mentality of course, there is an element of culture which is predominantly has to be there, not in a political way, but especially in a non-political way, and as being informed by a non-political body, which could be, on an advisory level, architects, artists. And I don't think that artists or architects or, or people who are working creatively should be embedded in that structure. The reason that uh, the European Commission cannot have a, a vision of art or f officially a relationship uh, with art is that basically they are put in a cage where they can only deal or mostly deal with regulations and kind of financial uh, issues and si many things are simply taken away from them. What is doubly cruel is that those handicaps are reinforced by the national governments that are blaming them for everything which is uh, not right with their own countries. So it's a kind of machine of denigration and a machine of undermining what ought to be the center and what ought to be the governments. Culture is actually quite difficult to be generated within the European community because of these national entities. And that is quite astonishing that there is no element or some manner of regulating this thing and because culture is of course not just localized or local it goes above that i was in an indonesian school and when the teacher of geography um, didn't bother with individual countries but simply showed a continent and was talking about continent and so I certainly was aware that actually there was something bigger than uh, uh, the, the countries. So it was basically the Indonesian teaching that uh, told me that there was Europe. By a lack of acknowledgement in terms of follow-up, for example, a lot of chances have been missed because Rem and I meet a lot of people all over the globe outside of Europe who don't have a problem with Europe because they think Europe is fantastic. I mean, Chinese people like Europeans because they need ideas also, as we also do. I'm actually also talking about the fact, what does the mainstream think about the European community? What is the visibility? What is the image of Europe? Is it the Euro, which is quite a feeble image? What image is it? I think it's high time to have a sort of meta-thinking on, on this on this division. And why should that not be possible, where actually most people in the cultural field, my field, already do that? On a mentality level, it should be acknowledged. It should, politicians should have at least, at least the decency to say that culture is important. Because otherwise, otherwise people get more and more stupid. I mean, we're in Brussels. Uh, we're in Belgium, by the way. The Museum of Fine Art is going to be closed for at least 13 years. The Museum of Contemporary Art, Modern Art in Brussels doesn't exist, it's not open yet, or is not there, basically. Uh, uh, then you go further to Boymans van Beuning, which is run by a nitwit, and then you go to the Stedelijk Museum in Amsterdam, where the, the city fights over the contractors of the museum. All those things are culture, and they're not visible for more than 10 years. So this means you take out an entire generation, and you don't give them the chance to see this and that. And I'm just talking about actually important artworks, basically. So this, this is another element, the element of heritage, which of course should be 
regional rights, of course, should be held on to, because at least it has a spiritual, symbolic value. Those are elements which are totally and always underestimated when it comes to the reality of what they call the real. Also the fact that culture has always been seen as eating money and eating up subventions, which is not true, because we are part of the biggest revenue of this construction. And that can be proven statistically, black and white, on paper. So, so this is also another thing, to be apologetic. Mm -hmm. And I will never be that. 